Hey, hey dude, what's going on? Hey, just working away. In, in the new digs, in the new place. Yeah, I see. Very nice. You can see the, the wall's different. It's lighter. The whole room is brighter, which is nice for video. Yeah. No, it's it's working out real well. See, it, I can move around. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, you look like you're glued to your chair, though. That's yeah, no, no, no. I was just messing around with you. That's all right. So what's That's going good. on? This is iPhone 3G week. It is. And, and you're, you're still not going to get one. Okay. Nope. I will probably not get one this week because, you know, I usually don't do that. I, I'm not one of these guys, oh, I have to have it the moment it's it's there. I, you know, I it's not like I don't have a phone already, quite frankly. No, no, you know? true, very true. So I'll probably get one before long, though, but I'm not right. going to be breaking my back trying to get down to the AT&T store or the Apple store. Thursday, but it is. If you hurry up, just hey, a few if you days. hurry up, you can be in line now. Yeah, Come yeah, on. that's right. We saw that, didn't we? I couldn't believe that in yeah. New York. But I, from what I understand, I think they're trying to set a record. Yeah. It wasn't really clear, and I'm not sure they even know what record exactly <laughs> they're trying to break. I'm not sure. But, I can think uh, of a few that I I can think of a few, but I'm not going to name them right now. Yeah, I think they already broke a couple I can think of. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with this because I've put out so much cash for this and I want to make sure I get my money's worth. And the main thing is two reasons. People need to realize that iPhone 2.0 firmware will work on the first gen that's iPhones. Co that's correct. So you'll get your app stored over Wi Fi. That's, that's correct. And if you're and, not, and we've, we've said this before, if you're yeah. not in a scenario a lot that really puts you needing full bandwidth of 3G, you're probably not going to see a lot of difference, quite frankly. Or, or if you're in an area where they don't have good 3G coverage for AT&T like I'm in. Yeah, that's right. You're I'm, way out there in the boondocks. I'm in the sticks by the cows. And it, yeah, you just, you are. Um, yeah, you the are. The one thing I now, will miss is the GPS. The, I was going to say that. Yeah, there is the GPS. And, I mean, we all know the more I devices I play with with GPS, and I'm the, I mean, the more you realize... I really can't have to have this. I, I use oh, yeah. this a lot. So, anyway, I'm going to get one, but probably not this week. But who knows? I mean, we we know how we geeks are, you know. I mean, I may be calling you up Thursday and saying, "Guess where I'm calling you from?" The line. Yeah, guess where I'm calling you from? I'm under the green tarp. My new my new line. iPhone 3G. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I shot my gadget lot anyway this week or last week. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've been wanting to yeah. see that bad boy. Yeah. What what it, what model is that? Canon That's what? That's the Canon Rebel XSI, which takes the place, I guess, of the XTI. Uh, they call it the 400D uh -huh. in uh, overseas, I believe. Now the uh, Canon Rebel. Online. That's that's the Andre Agassi camera, right? From when he played tennis. Yeah, way way back and in he, the day. He yeah. was the spokesman. That's right. Well, back when he could play tennis. He's probably still getting money on that deal. He, he probably is. Well, he probably is now. He probably he just did. Play. He probably <laughs> just did, right? But no, that's a nice camera. What? How many megapixels is that? I believe it's twelve point two, and what oh, people need to realize, it's a digital SLR. It's not a point and shoot. Right, right. So, it's fully it, you digital. Know, it has point and shoot functionality. You can you get a little knob <laughs> right here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't like your camera for some reason. <laughs> We'll just, we'll just put it to the side. He never sounds off, but he is now. That's all right. Nah, he's good. So 12 yeah. megapixels plus interchangeable lenses. That's what's cool. Correct. That is Correct. really cool. This came, I got the kit, so I got the uh, 18 by 55 mm -hmm. uh, millimeter lens. Right. And uh, this lens has image stabilization. I don't know if you can see. There's a little thing here for stabilization. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Autofocus or manual focus. Uh -huh. and, uh Really nice is the, uh, it's got a three inch LCD on the back. Ooh, that's sweet. Yeah, so when you snap a picture here, and this does three and a half, frame, uh, three and a half frames per second as well, which is kind of nice. And so, and so you can actually take pictures with it. It's, it's a full yeah, it's camera. Not, it's not just a showpiece. It's a full camera. <laughs> that's correct. Does it do, I assume it does some kind of video, right? You can't no do video, video with an SLR. Remember, oh, you're right. right there. Oh, you're right. You're right. You can't do video. No. Well, I'm safe. I'm safe in that regard. Yeah, you got video. You're fine there. 
One of the reasons I went for this upgraded model is it has SD for uh, the memory storage. Oh, uh, I like SD better, quite frankly. Yeah, it, I really do. It works do. better for my devices than Compact Flash. Yeah, I, I like SD better. And yeah. yeah, I'm old school. Yeah, the big, the big, the big old clunky SD card, right? Yeah. So it's got built-in flash up top, and what I like is it's got the, the scene modes, you know, sports, macro, portrait, landscape, so mm -hmm. you can use it as a point and shoot, or you can turn everything off and do everything manually, and I'm starting to try and learn right. a little bit more about how to take well, it's, photos. Yeah, it's, it's a real camera is the way I'd phrase it, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. no, that is really cool. It's actually smaller than I envisioned, quite frankly. It's, you know what? Given everything that it's got on it. It really Here's is. Here's the, um, the old Lumix that I was using, right? Yeah. And, you know, I mean, obviously the, the SLR is going to be bigger. Yeah, it's not that much bigger, though. That's, yeah, I mean, it's that's pretty cool. That's probably twice the weight. That's pretty cool. No, that's a nice camera. I've seen some of the sample stuff you posted on Flickr. It's pretty, pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. The, uh, the camera's making me look like a better photographer than I actually am. So, yeah, I was I, I was gonna say your you gonna your say product re, your product reviews should just be spectacular going forward now. Well, the reviews will be the same. The pictures might the be pictures great. will be great. Yeah. <laughs> pictures of quality here, review quality. Yeah, here. that's right. That's right. No, yeah, that's really cool. That's that's really cool. Well, you know, there was yeah. one. There's another another gadget that just popped up over the weekend that uh, one time yeah. that that's that gigabyte. Uh, what is it, 912? Gigabyte 912, whatever it is? 912 or 918. Yeah, that, that was first shown in Computex earlier this, this mm -hmm. year in, in Asia, okay. in Taipei. Yep. And a lot of people are getting excited since we posted about that because it's a 7-inch mini notebook with the swivel screen and touch Eight screen. I mean, yeah, you... Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting confused with the uh, the Vi, which is the seven inch with an integrated, integrated optical, optical drive, which is awesome. Right. But yeah, yeah, you're right, eight point nine. But anyway, what sets it apart is the touch screen and the, and the swivel convertible screen, so it's a convertible notebook. Right. And a lot of people have said, "Wow, that's just the small, tiny tablet I want to compete with the uh, like Fujitsu." I'm pointing, which is the same size as that. But what I wanted to point out, because I went back and looked through the specs that Gigabyte's reporting that they offer, mm -hmm. and there's actually three OS options you can get those with. One is right. Linux, okay? Mm -hmm. One is Windows XP, and right. the other is Vista Home Basic. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure that our, our viewers realize that none of those options will enable inking the full tablet PC functionality. Right. That requires Vista Home Premium or above. And Windows XP you, does not come with the tablet. A lot of people may not realize that. There's a special, back tablet in the day, XP yep. Tablet Edition, which is never released by Microsoft to end mm -hmm. users. It has right. to be pre-installed. And since they're phasing out XP, I don't think OEMs can can get that and and install that anymore. So, just wanted to point that out. It, it's it looks like a pretty cool device. Mm -hmm. I think it it starts. I think they said at fourteen ninety nine, which actually would make it a pretty good price for that no, size. No, no, you're do, you're no. This I'm is doing it again. Six ninety nine. The price is right. <laughs> you're right. I'm, well, both of those were announced at the were released this weekend. At the same right. time, right. and uh, yeah, you're right. Six ninety nine, so it makes it really cheap, but it is mm -hmm. not going to have tablet functionality. People need to realize that. Right. Although, what you could do is put right pen on. You know, mm -hmm. That's that's sure. something if you want inking, but it's not going to be integrated as to the to the extent that yeah. uh, tablet edition stuff is. So, I just I just want to make sure our our, our readers understood that because a lot of people have got excited. It surprised me, to tell you the truth, how many right. people got really right. excited about that announcement. And, you know, I'd still be excited about it just because of the price point so, of, of having at least a touchscreen device that's convertible and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm still not sold, me personally, on 
a touchscreen notebook unless it's got a swivel screen. And this does. Yeah, and that's why I think this is, in my opinion, probably more functional than a regular notebook with a touchscreen. Because I'm with you, I don't, I really don't think you'd use it that much. You'd be, after you first got it, you'd be touching the screen a couple times, and then afterwards you're going to say, eh, trackpad. And I'll use the trackpad. It's easy. You'd be doing videos like this, and then you poke in your eyes. Yeah, you see? Know? Yeah, see? And I, 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 I'd be going, ow, ow, ow. Bloggers insurance doesn't good. cover that, you know? We have insurance? <laughs> I do. Oh, you man, don't? I don't have insurance. I'm oh, uninsurable. <laughs> I'm uninsurable. But anyway, so that's cool. But um, yeah. just kind of wanted to to chat about those few little things, you know. We haven't had a chat in yeah. a while, especially. I don't think we've had one since I've been place. here in the new place. So okay. kind of getting settled in and uh, just wanted to say hi. Okay. We just had the long weekend and now it's back to work. I was a bum all weekend too, so I'm making up for it today. Oh, you were? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was I was a good guy all weekend. I was unpacking boxes still. I was actually I'm offline. still unpacking unpacking boxes. I've been here four years and I got boxes, so whatever. Yeah, well, I'll send you some of mine. Dude, well, I'll let you. You should probably go get some sleep so you can go wait in line for that iPhone 3G. Oh yeah, I, right sh- now, I, right I should go tonight, shouldn't I? And just camp, Absolutely. just camp. I'll take my sleeping bag and my tent. There you go. Yeah, there we go. That's where. That's probably where Matt Miller is. You know. I haven't heard from you. You realize that n- none there. of us have heard from him mm. since he admitted he was going to get one. I know. And then he disappeared. So, yeah, who knows? I'm expecting any day to get an email. Nothing on This is an email from my, uh, one of my Nokia phones from the line in front of the AT&T store. He fell off the planet. Yes, he did. Mm. All right, dude. Well, good talking to you. Yeah, catch you later, and uh, good luck in the new house. We'll see you later.